Hello, you are welcome to this math tutorial class. In this very class, we are going to cover the topic matrices. In matrices, what is matrices? It's array of number in rows and column. So you can arrange as many as possible numbers in rows and column. So the number of rows multiplied by the number of column gives the name of the matrix. So for instance, if you have four rows and three columns, so that means it's 4 by 3 matrix. And if you have two rows and two columns, so that means it's 2 by 2 matrix. And whenever your, the number of rows and the column are equal, that means you have a square matrix. That's the explanation we can find on the board. For instance, look at it. This is the row 1, 2, 3. So these are three rows and these are the column 1, 2, 3. So that means the name of this matrix is 3 by 3 matrix. Now, there are key aspects of matrices. I'm going to consider two of them, which are more, mostly frequent in the jam exam we are preparing for. That is the terminal of matrix and the inverse of a square matrix. Both are applicable to square matrices. So, how do we take the terminal of the matrix? You multiply diagonally. So, this times this minus the other diagonal. So, like in this question, this is standard jump question on the board. We have that this matrix equals to this, then we should find x. So that means you simply take the determinant of this, because the determinant is already minus 12. Hence, how do you do that? You say minus x times 4 minus the product of the two of them. Let's do it on the board. Solution. So in doing this, you say 4 times minus x, that's 4 times minus x minus the other side, minus 1 times, minus 1 times 12. Everything is called to minus 12. So that is the interpretation of this, in order to find x. So 4 times minus x becomes minus 4x. This becomes plus 12, equals to minus 12. So when you do this, you transfer this to the other side, minus 4x equals to minus 12, minus 12. X minus 4 is equal to minus 24. If you divide both sides by 4, then x should be equal to 6. So the value of x not given here is 6. Let's take a look at this is a typical 3 by 3 square matrix. The previous one was 2 by 2 matrix. Now let's solve this. There are a little differences there. We are going to break it down into the minor of the matrix. So we are going to generate series of 2 by 2 matrices within the 3 by 3 matrices that we have here. How do we do that? We focus on the first row. We use it to get minor of this matrix. So, and as we are doing that, we apply plus, minus, plus. So pick 5, for instance. When you pick 5, let's transfer this question here so that we can see clearly. 5. 1, 1, 3, minus 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, yes. So, you apply plus, minus, plus to the first row, because you are using it to generate the minor of the matrix. Now, to the first number here, 5, you say plus 5, so we want to get the minor. How do you get the minor? You cover here, and you cover this. Then we are going to be left with minus 1, 2, 2, 1. So minus 1, 2, 2, 1. So we have a minus 1, minus 1. So we we'll cover it this way and this way. Then we are left with what? 3, 2, 1, 1. 3, 2, 1, 1. Plus 1. Then we are left with 3 minus 1, 1, 2. 3 minus 1, 1, 2. Now, we have broken the 3 by 3 into a minus, 3 different minus now. Then you apply the terminals to them. So this becomes 5 into minus 1 times 1 is minus 1, minus 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 now, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 now, 3 times 2 is 6, minus minus 1. Yes, we can continue with this. This is minus 5. 
If this value is 5 times 5, that is 25 minus, so 3 times 1 is 1, and 3 times 2 is 1, 1 times minus 1 is 3 minus 1. Then 6 plus 1 now is 7, 7 times 1 is plus 7. So doing this, 7 minus 1 is 6, 6 plus 25 is going to be 31. Now, the last aspect of our matrix is going to be finding the inverse of the square matrix. How do you find the inverse of the square matrix? When you are given a matrix such as this 2x2 two two matrix, what we do is you interchange the B here to A and A to B, just like this. Then we apply minus to the one we do not interchange. However, you find the one over the determinant of the given matrix itself. Now, the product of both of them will give us the inverse. Now, let's consider that in this. The inverse of this matrix, we are giving this matrix 2, 1, 1, 1. So, if you want to find the inverse, first, you can find the, let's say you call the matrix B. So, you first find the determinant. The determinant is just 2 times 1, which is 2, minus 1 times 1 is 1. So, the determinant is 1. Then, you now interchange the given matrix. In this given matrix now, you want to find the inverse now. So, 1 over, 1 is determinant, into bracket. 2, we have to come here. We move one up, then to the remaining ones we apply minus. And when we multiply this, this one over one times this, we still get back one minus one minus one two. So this is the answer, the inverse of this given matrix. So when you check within the option, is option D. Thank you.